In this video, we're going to discuss the decision to accept or reject a special order from a customer. So a special order is just a unique one-time order. We're assuming here that the customer is not going to come back and buy more product from us. We just have one decision right now. Do we accept this order that the customer is making or do we tell the customer, no, we're going to reject this. We're not going to do this order. Now, examples of why this might happen, you might have a customer say they want some custom t-shirts made or something like that. Or maybe they're wanting to buy a really large volume of your product and they're wanting a discount on the price. They're saying, oh, the price is normally X, but I'm willing to pay you Y, but I'm willing to buy a lot of your product. Will you accept that price or not? So the, and when you're thinking about this decision of accepting or rejecting a special order, you, first of all, you only want to be thinking about relevant costs. And I'm going to give you an example of some relevant and irrelevant costs uh, in the example we're going to do in a minute. But second, you want to look at the incremental revenue that you are getting and compare that to the incremental cost. And if the incremental revenue is higher than the incremental cost, you would accept the order. Okay. So the question is, what are the incremental costs? Because some costs are things that are not relevant and you just want to ignore. So let's jump to it. So let's say a customer offers to buy some strollers. Let's say you've got self-driving baby strollers. How about that for an invention? The parents don't even have to accompany the baby. So they say, look, we're going to buy 100 of these. Uh, we're going to buy 100 and we'll buy them. We'll pay $550 per stroller. And your company's regular price for a stroller is $699 per stroller. So they're basically wanting a discount of $149 here. But they're saying, look, I'll buy 100 of these strollers. I just want the cheaper price. So then your question is, okay, well, do I give them that for 550 Or do I say, wait a minute, uh, this is bad for business. I, I don't want to do that. So we think about the cost of fulfilling the order. And I'm gonna, we're going to go through in a second which of these costs are relevant and which ones are not. But let's say that this is, this is the cost sheet that the accountant gives you. Okay, you say you have an accountant in your firm. And you say, what's the cost of fulfilling this order? And they say, well, there's going to be some materials involved in manufacturing uh, the, the strollers. Uh, there's going to be some direct labor. Uh, we got variable overhead, fixed overhead. And then uh, we have some customer acquisition costs that we're going to assign to this. Let's just say that this is what the accountant says. So the accountant says, look, it, it, to, to do these 100 strollers, it would cost us $56,000. $400 and you divide that by the number of strollers, 100, and you say, okay, well, that's $564 per stroller. Now, remember, they were offering you $550. So it would look like you would say, well, wait a minute, we would want to reject this because they're offering us $550. And according to our accountant, is $564 per stroller. So it would seem like you want to reject it. But I set this up in such a way so I can show you some examples of some things. So we want to think about which costs are relevant. Which costs are relevant? Okay, and you say which costs are relevant? Which ones are going to be the incremental costs of fulfilling this order? Let's say that it take direct materials. If we say no to this order, are we going to incur thirty-seven thousand two hundred dollars of direct materials? No, the, the, these costs are relevant. The materials because we're only going to incur that if we decide to make those strollers for them. This is the cost of fulfilling this order. The direct labor, the variable overhead, because it's variable, it's based on the activity level. Okay, so if we fulfill the order, we're going to incur these costs. But what about fixed manufacturing overhead? It's fixed. So by nature, this is not going to change based on whether we do these uh, this 100 strollers or not. So whether we if, if we accept this order, we're still going to incur these costs. If we reject this order and say to the customer, we're not going to do this, we're still going to incur these are fixed overhead. Now you say, well, why would an accountant, why would an accountant sign this uh, to the job when you're thinking of whether you should do it or not? Well, the accountant's just saying, hey, I'm just trying to allocate. We have, let's say, $10 million of fixed overhead at our plant. And so I'm trying to allocate this to, to jobs. So I could see where an account accountant would put this in the sheet where we're saying, okay, what's the list of costs? But we really want to ignore this here because it's fixed. We're going to incur that cost whether or not we accept the job. So we should not factor it into consideration here. Now, customer acquisition costs. Normally you could say, well, we, you know, we spend a lot of money acquiring customers, customers doing digital advertising, whatever. But in this case here, we would want to ignore this. It's not relevant. Why? The customer is already here. The customer is here and they're saying, I will pay you $550 
for these strollers? Will you do the order or not? So you don't have to say, oh, well, you know, it's going to be some digital advertising cost to get customers. Yeah, sure. That's a real cost of running our business. But that is not a cost of accepting this order. So really, these two costs here, we want to completely ignore. So really, the cost of the job is not 56400 or 564 a unit. It's really these three costs right here. So if we add those up, we get to 47000 400. That's these three costs together. Those are really the costs. Those are the incremental costs of accepting this order. If we accept this order, we're going to incur $47,400 of cost. And we have 100 units that that's spread across. So we could say 474 a unit. Now, let's go back to our price. So it's, it costs us 474 per stroller to fill this order. And they're offering us 550 per stroller. So the incremental revenue that we get from accepting this off exceeds the incremental cost. Now, there's one final caveat, though. I'm assuming here that we have something called idle capacity. Idle capacity means that so we've got our factory here, and let's say we are not running the machines 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I say, hey, do we have some extra capacity to make another 100 strollers? And the production manager says, yeah, yeah, it's no problem. We can do another 100 strollers, uh, no problem, okay? But what if I told you that the factory was working at 100% capacity? It's like, we, we can't make any more strollers. So if we accept this offer, if we say, yeah, we'll, we'll do this for the 550, then we are giving up some other action. Now, maybe there's strollers that we would make at the regular retail price of 699, okay? And we are foregoing, we're saying, well, if we accept this offer to make the ones for 550, that means that we're not going to be able to make 100 of the ones that we're selling for a regular price because our factory is at 100% capacity. So it's basically like accepting this order would displace another activity. And so if that's the case, if you do not have idle capacity, and you're like, hey, we don't have any extra capacity. If we accept this order, we're going to give something up. Then the foregone profit of the activity or action that you're giving up, that's an opportunity cost of accepting the special order. So then we would have that, whatever the foregone profit is, that would be listed in here as another cost of accepting the order. But we would still think about the same thing, we would think about it the same way and say, okay, what is the incremental revenue of accepting the order, right? In this case, we just think about the price and then we subtract the incremental cost. That's how you decide whether to accept or reject a special order.